Good day everyone, we have here the topic CRC uh, 16 or what we call Cycling Redundancy Checking Okay, so we have here our question Okay, so question number one Determine the block check sequence and the CRC generating polynomials of the given data GX and your CRC EX Okay, so our data GX is x raised to 7 plus x raised to 6 plus x raised to 4 plus x raised to 2 plus x raised to 1 plus x raised to 0. Our CRC TX is x raised to 5 plus x raised to 4 plus x raised to 3 plus x raised to 0. Okay, so our solution is simply multiply our data GX multiply our data gx by the highest exponent of your crc dx okay so the term with highest exponent is x raised to 5 so we multiply the data gx by x raised to 5 okay so solution x raised to 5 times our data gx okay to multiply we simply add the exponent okay so let's multiply. So we have x raised to 12 plus multiply. So we have x raised to 11. x raised to 5 times x raised to 4, that is x raised to 9. The next, x raised to 5 times x raised to 2, and we have x raised to 7. Okay, so simply add the exponent. The next, we have x raised to 6 and the last we have x raised to 5 okay we simply add the exponent okay so our our data stream now is x raised to 12 is 1 x raised to 11, uh, 11 is 1 x raised to 10 is 0 x raised to 9 x raised to 8 is 0 x raised to 7 is 1 x raised to 6 is 1 and x raised to 5 is 1 the next x raised to 4 is 0 x raised to 3 is 0 x raised to 2 is 0 x raised to 1 is 0 and x raised to 0 is 0 okay the next Divide, okay. Next step is CRC PX. Okay, so we have uh, X raised to 5 times our data GX. Okay, so this is the next solution. Okay, and we have, okay, so. Let's solve for CRCPX. So CRCPX is x raised to 5 is 1, x raised to 4 is 1, x raised to 3 is 1, x raised to 2 is 0, x raised to 1 is 0, and x raised to 0 is 1. Okay? So this will be our divisor. Okay? So let's divide. Okay? So let's divide. So 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, our divisor, and we have 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, and 1, 1, and then 5, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay? So let's divide. Okay, our divisor is a six data string. Okay, so six data string. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so let's start with this uh, bit position. Okay, so this bit position. Okay, so one times your divisor. So we have one, 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 zero, zero, and one. And the next XOR, okay, so 
let's use the XOR gate. So XOR, XOR gate, okay? So XOR, output, the output is high of logic 1 if the inputs are different okay otherwise and then otherwise that is logic otherwise logic zero okay so meaning if the inputs are different the output is one and if the inputs are the same then the output is zero okay so xor one and one so the output is zero 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 one zero that is one since they are different inputs zero one that is one and then one one so zero one one is zero so cancel out this zero and then bring now one okay the most significant bit the most significant bit is zero and the most significant bit of our device is zero is one so therefore the function is zero okay so bring down one okay so cross out the last zero the next, of course, the most significant bit is 1. So we have, of course, the answer is 1. So multiply, so we have 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. Okay? Then, x for again. x for again. So we have 1, 1, that is 0. 1, 0 is 1. 0, 0 is 0. 1, uh, 0, 1 is 1. 1, 1 is 0, 1, 1 is 0. Then cross on this one and bring down 0. Okay? So, of course, the most significant bit is 0. And our most significant bit is 1 for our device. So, therefore, the answer is 0. And then cross out, bring down 0. Okay? Most significant bit is 1. So, we have 1. Okay? So multiply. 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. Okay, the next, x for again, x for again. So we have 0, 1 is 1, 0, 0 is 0, 0, 0 is 0, 1, 1 is 0, 1, uh, 0, 1 is 1, 1, 1 is 0. So cross out this one and then bring down 0. Okay, so bring down the next most significant is 1, so therefore our quotient is 1. Okay? So multiply 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. And then x4 again. So x4 again. So 0, 1, so that is 1. 1, 0, that is 1. 0, 0 is 0. 1, 0, uh, zero 1 is 1. 0, 1 is 1. 1, 1 is Cross out the zero and then bring down another zero. The most significant bit is one, so we have our quotient is one. So multiply one, 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 zero, zero, and one. Okay, and then x four again. So x four. Zero one is one, one. 1, 0 is 1, 1, 0 is 1, 0, 1 is 1, 1, 1 is 0, and then 1, 1 is 0. Cross out the 0, and then bring down another 0. Okay? So the most significant bit is 0, so therefore we have 0. Okay? So 0 multiplied is 1, we we'll have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 and then of course it is 0 this is x4 again so we have 1 1 1 and 1 this is 0 okay. 
So cross out the zero, and then we have one 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 zero. Okay. So our CRC CRC polynomial or CRC generating polynomial. Polynomial is one 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 zero. Okay. So our CRC generating polynomial will be appended to our data GX. Okay. So therefore our so therefore our data string or our BCS. So we have. Therefore, our BCS Okay You can rewatch the video Okay So, therefore, our This is Therefore, our uh, Black check sequence BCS Is equals to 1 1 X raised to 10 is 0 X raised to 9 is 1 X raised to 8 is 0, x raised to 7 is 1, x raised to 6 is 1, x raised to 5 is 1. And then we have our CRC generating polynomial which is 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Okay? So this is our CRC uh, 16 of the generating polynomial and this is our Data GX, okay? So data GX, okay? So this is now our block check sequence, okay? And then at the receiver, okay? So this data will be transmitted. So this data will be transmitted, okay? So this is the transmission, okay? So direct, direction of time, so this is the direction of time. And that is the direction of time and this is the direction of transmission. So this is the receiver and this is the transmitter. Okay? So direction of data. Okay? So direction of data flow. Okay? So this is the direction of time, this is the direction of data flow. Okay? The next at the receiver end. Okay. So at the receiver end This data string will be Again Divided by the CRCPX For error Detection okay. For error detection If there is no error Then There is no remainder to this uh, Division process okay. So let's divide again At the receiver Okay. At the receiver So at the receiver end We have our data GX uh, Data GX And then CRC 16 so We have 1, 1, 1, 1 And 0 okay. So let's divide So this is at the receiver so this is at oh, at the receiver. At the receiver, again, the string of data will be divided by our CRC PX. Okay, so let's divide. So six. Okay. Most significant bit is one. Our divisor is one. Most significant bit is one, so we have one. So one, we have one, 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 zero, zero, one. One, one, XOR again, XOR. So XOR, so we have zero, zero, one, one, zero, and zero. So cross out the zero and bring down one. The next, we have. The most significant bit is 0, so therefore our quotient is 0. So multiply, so cancel out this 1, and then bring down 1. 
Okay. The next more significant bit is one. So we have one. So one times our divisor, of course, one, 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 zero, zero, and one. And the next we explore again. One one is zero. One zero is one. This is zero. This is one. This is zero. Zero. And then cancel out zero. Bring down one. Okay, so bring down one. Then our most significant bit is zero. So therefore our answer is zero. Okay. So cancel out the zero and then bring down another one. Okay. And of course, the most significant bit is 1, so therefore, our quotient is 1. So 1 multiplied, so we have 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, and then x4 again. So we have 1, 1, so 0, 1, 0 is 1, 0, 0 is 0, 1, 1 is 0, 0, 1 is 1, and then this is 0, so cancel out, then bring down another one, okay, so another one of course the most significant bit is one and it's one so we have the equation one, so multiply one, 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 zero zero, one, okay so just follow the procedure, anyway you can rewatch the video for your review, okay so we have one one is zero, zero zero is zero, one zero, next word again, okay? So one zero is one, zero one is one, zero one is one, and this is zero. So cross out this one and then bring down one. Okay, so this is one. The most significant bit is one and our divisor is one, so therefore the object is one. So multiply one 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 zero zero one, okay? So therefore, the, our, our answer is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and 0. Bring down 0. So therefore, our answer here is 0. Okay? So therefore, there is no, there is no remainder. Okay? So take note, there is no remainder. No remainder. Okay? Meaning, no remainder, no error. No remainder, no error. Okay? So that is what we call the cyclic redundancy checking. And cyclic redundancy checking is almost 99.5% uh, 99 accurate in error detection. Okay? So only 0.05% errors will not be detected. Okay, so not detected errors that will not be detected. Okay, so 99.5 percent accuracy in error detection. Okay, so I hope you understand the discussion through this video. You can comment below for your questions. And good day and God bless us all. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.